Hi again, let's have some fun with Affinity Publisher. We'll begin with creating a hot dog zine. And it's for US letter or A4 paper size. Now a hot dog zine is a one page booklet. It's a useful idea. And you can use the templates time and time again. I'll include the template addresses in my description just below this video. And you can download them or you can create your own. A hot dog zine is a teeny booklet made from one sheet of printer paper and folded in such a way that it can be read like a small book. Including the cover, there are only eight pages, all printed on one side of a piece of printer paper. Too easy. They're a great idea for school classes and a super way to introduce children to the fun of books. They can also be used in a multitude of other settings too numerous to mention. Limited really only by your own imagination. I'd recommend starting with a preset in Affinity Publisher if you're making them from scratch. That way you can use the same preset time and time again as well as be able to make small changes as you need to. So let's start by opening Publisher and select New My Presets. Or you might like to simply start with the templates I provide. The ones that I have supplied can be downloaded from either of my two websites. The addresses are in the description below this video. Please subscribe to my channel while you're there. Spread the love. So let's look first at the presets. They're really simple and you probably only need one version. I mean if you use US letter paper all the time that's all you need if you're in the US. If you're in the UK or Europe like that or Australia you'll probably need A4. So the US letter one you follow these dimensions exactly for the page of your choice. And this one points to US letter and I've made a preset there. It's fairly straightforward, 11 inches by 8.5, 300 dpi. Uh, the dimensions are in inches, that's US letter size, because the US still uses inches. Um, any, uh, any images you get should be embedded. It's, it's, it's one side of a piece of paper, let's face it. You're not going to have huge images there. So it really won't make that much difference to your file size. And it's a lot more convenient. Because you'll probably print them out occasionally, I would suggest CMYK as your colour. And your margins, you include margins that helps to keep things neat on the page. But they're only a quarter of an inch, 0.25 of an inch the margins. So now remember, you're only on one side of a piece of paper. The A4 size, well it's the same but different. Follow these dimensions for the A4 size. There's not a lot of difference except that they're in millimetres. And an A4 page is slightly larger than US letter size paper. This was a real bugbear in the early days of computers and printers, but we seem to have moved past that now, thank goodness. The advantage of setting up with a template or preset is that master page, a master page is created, and in that master, all the guides and margins live. I'd not recommend putting text frames in the master. You may want to change pages often, but you rarely change the master. And text frames will come and go as you do different things with your little booklet. So, let's look first at the guides in the master. In the master A document, when you've created your document and you're setting up master A, if you use a US letter size paper, then set your horizontal and vertical guides as follows. And you can see them all listed there. You drag your margins out from the left hand side and from the ruler at the top you drag them down. And their sizes will appear there in the guides column. Once they're in there you can alter them if you, if you can't get it exactly on the screen. Just double click on it in the in the vertical guides or the horizontal guide, whichever one is not actually accurate, double click on it and it will become editable. And then you can put in the exact size that you want. The second one there, of course, is your A4 master. As I mentioned, it's the same, but different. 
From this point on, I shall refer only to the US letter version. As I've just mentioned, the A4 version is the same, but different. Now, the completed US letter, Master A. This is your master, remember? And all of the margins are put in and all of the guides are put in. And I've also, you'll also note I've put an arrow line. That's a, uh, one, of the, one of the shapes that you can insert into a document from the left-hand side. And I've inserted an arrow line, placed it on the center horizontal line. This marks the cut position. Once you've folded your piece of paper, you can sometimes forget where you've actually got to cut it. So you can put a little line there. Well, you can leave that there or take it out. It's your choice. You can see in the layers over on the right-hand side, this is master, the master, remember, and it's got one layer, and that's the arrow. Now, the page with text frames applied and temporary page numbers applied. This is so you can find your way around the page. Note the top row of text frames must be flipped by 180 degrees, upside down in this view. I have next put the page numbers into the master. Not using the page number option because that, <laughs> that will give you one page number. Remember, we're dealing with one page here, one side of one page. So you've actually got to type in your little page numbers. I mean, you don't need them. There's only eight pages. But initially, if you put them in, you can see that one, two, three, and four are the top row of panels starting on the right-hand side. Five, six, seven, and eight are the bottom row of panels starting from the left-hand side. Hmm, can be confused. And you can see the top ones, which have text frames applied to them, have been flipped by 180 degrees. When you do that, it, oh, it, it will, they will uncenter. They're, they can be difficult to put in place. So just observe where you're transforming them from, um, where your anchor point is. And under the, that bottom right-hand arrow, the red arrow, you can see a square box with dots around it. That's your anchor point. Make sure you've got that right and you'll be able to flip them properly. I've next put page numbers into the master. You can leave these in or remove them as you wish. And you can see I've got page one, two, three, four, five, six, and the back and a cover. I left the word back, that's your back page, and cover is your cover page. I've left those words there. And in here, um, if you look at my little zine, A Bird's Life, the yellow cover, you can just see the word cover peeping out from under that because I left it in there. Touch, touch. Now, you can see on the right-hand side, there's some character pages. I've flowed lorem ipsum text into the, into the uh, panels. Uh, I've created a small zine. And now let's see what it's looked like and how it's folded. The resulting PDF. So now that's all for this tutorial. I hope you have fun with the idea. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's a, a million laughs. Our kids would love this. Make their own little books. How to fold the booklet is excellently described in a YouTube video by a lovely person who put this into the Affinity Publisher um, Facebook guides, a uh, Facebook group, and uh, gave me the idea to do this little tutorial. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel.